Welcome to Amity Island. This year promises to be better than ever. Seal Island continues to be a great attraction, especially with a recent increase in its population. And new partnerships with corporations such as Environ Plus will allow us to open our doors to even more visitors. Hello, and welcome to 60 Second Retro Gamer. Joining me, I, I'm Simon Pryor, is uh, a sniggering Anthony Tremain. I am here. Uh, you've seen this, you've scared a cat. I've, I've made a cat shit itself. Which was fun. By waving at it. <laughs> Go figure, I yeah. don't know. Uh, and also Mr Rich Houghton, as ever. Who has not made a cat shit itself. No, he, well, not yet. He's chucked a golf ball at my testicles today. Yeah. All in the name, gen gently tapped it. All in the name of the series. Yes. <laughs> the two events are not connected. No. Yeah. <laughs> what the cat shooting itself and my testicles connecting with the golf ball. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, moving swiftly <laughs> on, <laughs> before we, you know, we just end up being far too smutty. Yes. Uh, today we are going to review uh, Jaws Unleashed <laughs> uh, on the PS2. Oh dear. Uh, the the horror, most horrifying thing about this is that I can't find the game online secondhand for anything less than ten quid. <sighs> That is a travesty. I didn't pay anything for it. I traded in a load of games and I just needed something to top up the extra seven quid. <laughs> and I went, oh, Joel, there you go. That's probably going to be shocking. but And it is. Yep, it is yeah. abysmal. It gave me cancer. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you're the one who's, who's played it well, most. <laughs> in the loop. The only time I've played it is to capture the footage you will see if you watch the review. That is it. I can't bring myself to play any more of it. Oh, well, so I'm a game. The, the story-wise, uh, there isn't really a story to it apart from that you are the shark from Jaws, and you've got a number of missions to do, which includes. Well, you're uh, a shark from the Jaws franchise. Yes, yeah, they they all get killed. You're a great them. white. Yes. Ow. But you've got to. Um, the, your your job as the shark mm. is to go and eat people and. Uh, yeah, the, one of the ludicrous things is some of the missions is like uh, find ID cards on scientists. You, you have to just leap out of the water, grab a scientist, and hover him near the door oh, so his ID cards. Bung him at the control I can, panel. I can see why they went with that idea, but it was so badly executed. It was awful. Well, well, the control spent, scheme don't don't help. You, you spent X. twenty minutes trying to get get that to work, didn't you? And yeah. They were just hiding on the bits where you couldn't leap out yeah. of the water. It was like press X to swim forward. Well, technically, I should be constantly swimming because if a shark stops moving, it drowns. So that's a mighty flaw right there. I think that may be a misconception. No, it is. Uh, it was on Blue Planet. Oh. David Attenborough told me. Uh, no. Well, if David if Attenborough he, no, if he says it, yeah, it's David be Attenborough true. told me. Yeah, if he says it in his silky tones, then uh, it must be true. Yeah. Yeah, great. Oh, if they stop I'm moving. too old to be doing this. I. That's why I don't appear in my documentaries. Anymore. I do the voiceover. It's a bit like Christopher Lee. He's so old he can't fly. Uh, <laughs> or he's hesitant. Although to fly. I did watch him on the Baftas, and he did look very, very old. Mm. He's like had walk. He had to get um, Jonathan Ross to carry his award off for him because he couldn't carry it and walk at the same time. Bless I, I, him. Your your feeling that he may outlive you could be a uh, short no run, no no something. he's still gonna outlive me he's still gonna see the end of the world and carry on oh, okay along with a few other actors as well but well, that's we'll irrelevant so um so yeah uh, there isn't really a story so to say apart <laughs> from that you've just got to kill people and fight and a destroy giant things. yeah and destroy things and, and fight an octopus a giant, a giant squid octopus yeah squid thing which was a very obscure boss battle and didn't make it's any very, sense very I, odd. I bit a tentacle I, off. one one thing i <laughs> That's about one, it. One thing I like about the game is one of the boss battles is the mayor of uh, <laughs> Amity. Yeah, most likely on a boat swimming, um, going away from you. Yeah. And you probably have to chase him and take out the boat with one of your many air combos. Because <laughs> he's a fucking killer whale now, of course. Yeah, you unlock several uh, combo attacks. You can upgrade the shark. You upgrade the shark. <laughs> GTA carving <laughs> style. Motherfucker. Yeah. Um, so bling your uh, <laughs> bling your shark. 
pimp your shark. shark. Give him yeah. golden teeth and everything. But that's oh. one thing. Uh, you've got a uh, hundred collectible license plates throughout the the oceans of Amity as well. I've probably found about two in the tutorial. I think that yeah. actually, I write, it says a lot about a game when the only fun factor that we had is in the tutorial, mm. chomping on people and eating, eating um, seals that are about four times too small. <laughs> Yeah. Than what they should. Mind you, the they, they they look really really small, don't they? It's mm. like, is that a seal? It's, I mean, I know killer weird. whales are large, to say the least. Killer whales. Um, well, he might as well. He might as well be. Yeah. yeah. Kill, uh, great white sharks are reasonable. Well, they're very very large, but seals are no way that small in comparison to them. I mean, what has he been genetically engineered to be a huge? He may as well be a whale, a shark, um, whale killer- shark. What, what's the though. one with the massive mouth? Free Willy. No. <laughs> one? No, no, it's a shark. What's a killer? killer shark whale. Whale shark. Whale shark, whale there you shark. go. The one with the massive gobs. He may as well they're, just They're be... not really people killers though, are they? No, I well, know, but he may as well be one in size. Oh. Well, they're, in not this the biggest, game. they're not the biggest. No, I Blue know. Blue whales are the biggest. I'm not referring to huge <clears throat> aquatic... Aqua- uh, huge down. water goers. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a very long night. No, I'm, I mean, um, he, he may as well be the size of one of them. Yeah. In the shark. So and he what's... growls. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> did. Yeah, shark, he yeah. does a shark attack. It's like, oh. I think dear, the, the most fun you can. The best one is when we review, uh, did the capture for the game, uh, for the video review. Um, th- there's that bit where you chomped on someone, you're dragging them around, all this blood was pouring out everywhere. You let go and they swam off. Yeah. No, the best bit was when I was swimming along, grabbed someone, dragged them along the surface, came to the pier, and went oh, boom with yeah. their head. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, oh. I stand corrected. That that was quite. Although them swimming off, going <laughs> was equally as funny. Mm. In fact, I think that film in general was um, that, that game. game. Oh, for Christ's sake! As I said, it's going to be a. Long it's going to be yeah. The game itself was just diabolical. Shit! So, uh, run us through the the controls. I can't remember them. Oh, you're no. R one was I know R one was chomp. Yeah, R one to chomp. Um, that X was to swim in any general direction. Uh, the stick moved you well in any direction you wished to uh, travel in. And apart from that, is it's that crap. I haven't played it again since and have forgotten the controls. There was a dash move. I know that. Yeah, the, yeah, there was L one or something. Yeah, dash yeah. into things. Oh, yeah, it was either R one L one. Uh, any of the face buttons yeah any any button <laughs> on the <laughs> controller things it was a button but and it made it shoot as forward as we said th- there are a number of different combos you can unlock like s- jumping up over the top of a boat and tail whipping them go figure that one out on a Sunday I tell you it Jaws Unleashed the game or JawsTheGame.com has a website oh, it's now available for nineteen ninety nine in the US that's about Nineteen ninety nine, too much for the, it. The best thing is now you can give the gift of a vicious man-eating shark for less than twenty dollars. The fresh Only holiday Jaws. price for Jaws Unleashed on PlayStation Two, Xbox, and PC means that eating and destroying everything in sight just got a whole lot more affordable. <laughs> no, it didn't. Trading in a load of games, getting Medal of Honor, and then getting that one just to top it up to seven quid, is getting something that's slightly more affordable. Yeah. It, Don't uh, give me that bullshit about paying 20 quid for it or $20 or whatever. I think it's another classic example of a licensed game, isn't it? Mm. I just, I want to know, I wanted to be there in the meeting where they, they decided that they were going to do a game where you play as the shark. I wanted to see the person yeah. who came, well, I think this is a, uh, uh, oh, there's shit on the end. We should make it playable from the shark's point of view. And there you go. If you're listening, please tell me you if, suck. if that was a, an accurate impression. Yeah. I think it probably was. I'll just read some of them. scraper. Wikipedia. It's a single-player action-adventure survival horror. <laughs> oh, that's pushing it a bit, isn't horror. it? Um, Where's the horror, horror aspect of it? Don't ask me. Uh, <laughs> the shark's eating people. I think that's the horror. No, mm. It is 18. No, I think the horror is just looking at the game itself and going, oh, yeah. oh bloody hell. A bit like Thunderbirds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the, to be honest, the game didn't look graphically that bad. It could have been worse. It could I've, have been worse. It you... could be Captain Scarlet level. Ooh. Quite it frankly. Did, it did look okay. I Yeah, I suppose a little bit. Because what do you have to model underwater? some wavy lines to show that it's underwater. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> so I mean uh, That's another thing as well. Why were little sharks attacking the great white? 
They were frightened. Surely that's uh, yeah, but they'd swim away. See, I I think the people who made this game didn't go on the internet, or failing that, they went on a Wikipedia page that had been edited about great white sharks, and they went, oh yeah, well, that, ooh, ooh, that science works perfect here. Okay, Let's make um, it stop. Let's I'll just read this from from Wikipedia. Uh, like the GTA series, the game is open-ended. The player can roam f free throughout the water, feeding on other animals and humans and destroying everything in its path. Jaws Unleashed for Xbox is not currently compatible with the Xbox 360. I wonder why. Oh, that doesn't make me sad at all. No. See, oh, th th there is a story. There is what? a story. Uh, Amity Island is growing, making corporate connections with prestigious companies like Environ Plus to improve the island's economy. Unfortunately, the increased population around the island and recent industrial activity has also attracted one of Earth's most fearsome creatures, a great white shark the size of a megalodon. Ah, that's why shark he's attack three. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, he's a big shark. When the the, uh, the CEO of Environ Plus uh, is eaten by the ferocious beast, the CEO hires renowned shark hunter Cruz Radder. How can the CEO be eaten and then hire someone? His son, the Environ. Oh, no. the I was going to say son from is inside the shark. Yeah. I need you to take care. <laughs> of I need you to deal me. with this. <laughs> I need the I need the eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he he hires Cruz Radder. What a stupid name is that? Cruz Radder. Hello, I'm Cruz, Cruz Radder. To track and kill it. Meanwhile, marine biologist Michael Brody tries to recapture the shark for research. Jaws Unleashed received a mixed to poor critical reaction. Mixed? I'd have thought it would just been poor. Um, you know, I'm fairly sure um, official PlayStation magazine... When they it gave was... it one and a half out of five. No, for the UK. Oh. The UK, I'm fairly sure they gave it an eight. But this is going back a few years now, obviously. Yeah. Oh, um... Da, 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 da. As the game was released on PC, players experienced a better overall performance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, with an average score of 60%. The same has been through, uh, thought to be true in the Europe version, as indicated by higher review scores, such as 7 out of 10 for official PlayStation Magazine UK. Oh, how close was I? <laughs> One off. Despite this, the game was a commercial success, selling over a quarter of a million copies on Xbox alone. Therefore, earning it GameSpot's Worst Game Everyone Played of 2006 award. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, he's supposed to be a Megalodon. Yeah, apparently but even so. then he's still too small, because he would still be the peer. He would he would be bigger than the peers that you're currently destroying. Yeah, I, I don't think they they researched the tippage. I think this may have came out around the same time as Shark Attack Three. Maybe funny. Enough, actually, that's really quite coincidental because when I was little, and I first watched Jaws One and Two, I had an idea. Well, not that little, but I always had an idea of making Jaws Five and making it so it, it is like. Be this season before I knew of megalodons actually, of making a shark that comes along, but he's twice as big as normal sharks. Yeah, they stole my idea, the bastards! How dare they? Well, I think it's an creators idea. Creators of Jaws, I'm going to sue you for a wasting my time, and b stealing my ideas. You thieving little shits. Etc. Yes, the Jaws films were all done sort of before you were like five, though, weren't they? Well, that's probably done before I was born, actually, thinking well, about it. I know Jaws, Jaws 1 was 1975, obviously. Jaws 2 was uh, 1978, I think. It was a few yeah. years later. Jaws 3 and 4, I have no idea. 80s they... and possibly early 90s. But... Um, I don't know. I think they were I think they were both in the 80s. Oh, I, I think then there's the it's possible... It's irrelevant. Michael Caine was in number 4, that's all I know. He was apparently And never... a shark followed them. Yes, he was never... Owned. Weird. I've never seen Jaws 3 and 4. I've seen through. the end of Jaws 4. And yeah, I've left. watched it round Jaws, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Just, Michael Caine just appearing on the boat and the breath of that thing. Oh, fuck. You really are not. There were bills that needed to be paid, obviously. Or a house that needed to be uh, paid for, anyway. I, mean, I I wouldn't mind it so much if the, the gameplay wasn't as clunky as it actually is. <laughs> if the gameplay if they, if they wasn't made, shit. If they made a solid game engine from it and didn't mm. give you... I mean, I could even forgive the stupid missions like the ID card thing and the, the giant squid. I um, but you know, if if they if they made a game that's actually interesting to play, I suppose, then it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, because you can forgive uh, a good bad licensed game, but when it doesn't gel and when you know things don't work, then that that's the point where I think no. Nah. I think even <laughs> even the fact that you could fight boss battles was shit. The game in general was just. It could have been really custard creams. Is, is, yeah. Yeah. We're trying to. I think right. in general the game could have been if it had just been chomp on people as you see fit, 
Maybe. You can do that. Or, you yeah. can do that as much as you like. You don't have to do the story, do you? Yeah, I know. I'm but not I mean, trying to defend it. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. It would have been yes, nice. Yes, you are. If they'd done what like um, the getaway and driver had done, and have a free roam bit where you have... Well, it's kind of free roam. Yeah, but you could only go so far before it went, oh no, the current is too strong, you cannot swim yeah. this far. It was like, well, that's yeah, not... Yeah, but all open-ended games are like that. Yeah, but they should you have had another way of... Normally, they're truly... in a city, though, in yeah, the open truly city. Open-ended. But it was only a little section that wasn't that open-ended. But yeah, that was the tutorial. Yeah, that's the tutorial. I don't, I don't give a shit. Game. <laughs> it, was, it was just... I mean, if, if they'd just given it a free roam bit, we could go to any part of Amity, obviously water-based. Be a bit worrying if the shark is suddenly just walking on its hind fins or whatever. A bit like red cards, uh, yeah. football mode, <laughs> which we will have a look at later. Yeah, it's hilarious, but that's a different matter altogether. And me, yeah. But it, it it would be quite amusing just to go, you know, oh, there's a person. <laughs> rabble, rabble, you know, rabble, rabble. But it was just, it wasn't, it just looked and played awful. And the music was even worse. Cause Terrible the, MIDI theme. The music made me shit myself. Hmm. Really, In the original really, or the... Really, no, no, in, in this, just oh. it wasn't a good... Oh, God, it was an actual... Oh, that's, oh. that's runny poo. It, was just, <laughs> it just wasn't good in any way, shape, or form. I don't want to eat my custard creams anymore. <laughs> if I tell you, it's a good job I don't like bourbons. <laughs> this would be a different oh, no. podcast altogether if you Bour- like bourbons. Bourbons are dirty. I don't know. Like They're bourbons. okay. Yeah. They right. are like someone who's just shattered on... Put that in a biscuit. Off you go. Right, uh, anything else you want to say about the game, or are, are you ranted out? Um, it's shit. Don't. It's not. It's, I reckon it's tolerable. It's, it's tolerable. You could probably get. It's a bit like Thunderbirds. In retrospect, having played Thunderbirds a little bit, it, ha- having played Captain Scarlet afterwards, Thunderbirds <laughs> is playable. I think Jaws Unleashed, if you play a game that's even worse, it will become playable. Maybe I need to play a bit more of it, but from what I have played of it, it is terrible. Maybe you should play the game a bit more before reviewing it. Oh snap! Too too shy, yes, too shy. But either way, I, I, I can guarantee you, I'm I'm a very stubborn bastard when it comes to things like this, and I probably will hate it even more. Play five minutes, not rubbish. I'll probably like be it. sitting there going, I don't want to like this. This is quite enjoyable. I don't want to like it. <laughs> it's awful. But that's what just are you going to do? Yeah. Okay, uh, well, that wraps things up. Thank you for listening if you have been. Uh, don't forget to visit randomstoke.com uh, for the video review and for all of our other podcasts and projects, including some original scripted uh, comedy, which uh, we're quite proud of. It's called Trent Samuels. Mm. Check out the feed for that. You download it all for free because uh, we don't charge for things that people don't tend to download very often. <laughs> so um, Don't thank- tell them that. Shh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you get a chance, go to randomstoke.com, have a, have a look around there. Uh, and uh, we will be back next time with another review. Yeah. So, goodbye for now.